high crocheters of the world. In this tutorial, I want to show you, to present you this method of working. Uh, it's a method, it's not something here. I worked uh, a um, cover, uh, chair cover, but I really want to make a pillow, so to make two and put together make a pillow or a cushion. Uh, but you can work anything you want, everything you want, sorry. So, uh, carpets, you can work tablecloth, round tablecloth, you can work, as I said, uh, blankets and so on. Now, um, time ago, a follower of mine uh, sent me a photo of something like this, uh, worked on knitted, actually. And there are only a few projects that uh, you, um, my followers actually, um, send me and um, I really like to, to um, make something, to take in, an idea. Uh, I, us I used to make my own projects, but sometimes I really like to, to uh, try a project that you send me. And this was one of that. So I save it on my computer and uh, from time to time I watch the photo and finally <laughs> I'm here with my project. From there, so I uh, found the original, it's a uh, swirl 10 stitches blanket, I think, twist, I think, something like this. I really don't remember the title. I will put the link below. So if you want the original, you can go on and work, work it. It's uh, knitted and it's on um, Ravery, but it's free. So you can try it. For me, it was too complicated. And um, I just wanted to try something easier. And, of course, to try something on crochet because, you know, I adore to crochet. Yes, I love knitting, but I adore to crochet. So I was trying and trying and trying and I came up with this one. And I'm so happy because here all the, let's say, the most difficult part is this little pink here. The rest, it's so easy. So take your leftovers of yarn, wool, cotton, uh, more or less the same weight and let us begin. So let's get started. Now I am working on my project with cotton yarn suitable for 5 mm hook and I will work with a 5.5 mm hook but this project can be worked with any kind of yarn or uh, weight yarn. So you can use thinner or thicker yarn if you want to. You can use cotton, you can use wool, acrylic and so on. Now a magic loop to begin, chain one and five single crochets into our magic loop. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Close your magic loop, insert hook into the single crochet, first one, and slip stitch to join. Now let us begin, uh, please be very careful here because uh, this is the most important, um, let's say, row, round. Okay, now we will chain two and we will insert hook into the first chain a work, a single crochet, chain one and turn. Work into the single crochet, one single crochet, chain one and turn. We are again to the center. Uh, we will work in back loop only, sorry. So back loop only, one more single crochet. And now we have three. And we are ready to insert hook into the first single crochet of the five of our center and to slip stitch to join. Then we will turn back like this with the yarn uh, on the back side, insert hook into the back loop only of our single crochet and work one more single crochet. Now we actually worked two ridges. Uh, one ridge is finished when you work through the center, uh, from the center to outside, we work one and then, uh, sorry, to the center, uh, 
yes, and uh, from the center to the outside. This is one ridge. Uh, it is composed by two rows. Okay, now let's go on with a chain one and we begin another ridge. Insert hook into a single crochet, back loop only, and work an increase. So I have two single crochets here. Now chain one, um, turn and complete the ridge working one and two single crochets. So into each of your single crochet. Okay, this is a ridge. Now chain one, let's go with the second ridge. Insert hook into the first single crochet, back loop only, work one single crochet into the second one single crochet and now into the same single crochet of our five, so the same one, we will slip stitch to join. Okay, and now again turn like this with the yarn um, on the back side, turn and work your two single crochets to complete the second ridge. One and two. Now as you can see we worked with one, two ridges, so four uh, rows, and we worked with two, two ridges, so four rows. Now we will go on with three, begin with a chain one, we are going through the outside to the center, and we begin with an increase. So insert hook into the first single crochet, work two single crochets, and insert hook into the next single crochet and work one single crochet. Turn, chain one and turn and work your three single crochets. One, two and three. We have, as you can see, we have two rows, one ridge. We finish a ridge when we are, uh, we finish the row uh, two from the center to the outside. Now chain one and turn. Work your three single crochet, join and then back to finish the second ridge with three. We, you will join into the very next single crochet of your five, so into the second. Join then like this with the yarn on the back, work all your three single crochets. So one, two, it's the yarn that one, two and three. Okay, so you worked all the three single crochets and we have one and two, one and two with three. Now we go on with four, two ridges, chain one and turn into the very and from here the first ridge will be short row and turn and the next ridge will be a row, entire row, join and turn. So let me show you what it means. Now into the first single crochet you will just work the increase. We have two more single crochet left and we don't want to work them. This is the short row. We will chain one and turn and work again our two single crochets. One and two. Now we will go back, chain one, this was the first ridge with the short row, chain one and now we will work all four stitches. So the first two, one and two, and the other two. Now when we skip uh, the short row and we work the other two, insert hook into this loop two and then into the first single crochet and pull through two and work your single crochet so you won't have a ugly hole here in the middle and work your last single crochet and now we have our four single crochets one two three four and we want to join into the same single crochet the second of the five insert hook and join 
So we work with one, with two, with three, and now with four. And from this one, we began with the short rows. So one reach is with short row, one reach is join and back. So now what we want to find is to complete the second reach. So we turn insert hook into the first single crochet, work one, then into the next two, so the completed number of stitches, three and four. This is what we have. We go on with five and six, so we will work two ridges with five, two ridges with six, which means four rows with five, four rows with six, into the other single crochet. Then will be seven, eight and nine, ten. And then we will have our ten stitches. Now, let's go on. First ridge, chain one and turn. First ridge, it's short row. Increase into the first single crochet and work until two single crochets remain. So it's one more single crochet actually for now. I have two single crochets here unworked. I will chain one, turn and work my three single crochets. One, two, three. And this is the first ridge with the short row. Chain one and turn. Work all the stitches and join. One, two, three. Always when you skipped here into the uh, first single crochet of the two, insert hook into this loop two, then into the first single crochet and single crochet. Now I have one, two, three, four, and the last single crochet is here. So don't forget about it. And now we have five. Here we are, our five single crochets. And we want to join into the very next single crochet into the center, back the yarn, and finish the second ridge with five by working all the stitches to the outside. Two, three, four, five. Let's go with six, chain one and turn and we are ready for the first reach with six. So we increase one and two and then we work until two single crochet remains which means we work two more single crochets, one and two. This is the short row reach, chain one and turn. Work your four single crochets back to finish the short row reach. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, let's go with the second reach with six. We work the complete row and we join and we turn back. One, two, three, four. And now we go and work the skipped single crochet. We insert hook first here then into the single crochet, pull up a loop and single crochet for the fifth and into the last single crochet for the sixth. Join into the same single crochet here where, we jo where you joined for uh, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes. <laughs> Sorry. So slip stitch to join and like this this is something that no don't need now. Okay, like this. And insert hook into the first single crochet and single crochet. So we don't chain actually when we work this row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, here we are with six. We, fi we finished actually the four rows with six. Chain and the two ridges. Chain one and turn. Insert hook into the first and we begin with seven. We work an increase and then all the stitches until two remain. So one, two, three more. We have to work one, two, 
three. Chain one and turn. Finish the short row, short ridge, let's say, short row ridge. So we go back with our five single crochets now. Two, three, four, and five. Chain one, we go with the second ridge where we work all the stitches, so seven stitches, and we join and we come back. Three, four, five. Okay, we go into this loop and then into the first single crochet that we skipped and then into the next, into the last actually that we skipped. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now I have to join into the very next single crochet. It's second to last single crochet. Here we will work seven and eight, and into the last we will work. Into the last we will work uh, nine and ten. Join and go back like this with the yarn because I don't want to chain. That's why, and work back your seven single crochets to finish the second ridge. Now, why I named them ridge ridges? Because there are two rows that must be worked to complete one step and because actually here it is a ridge as you can see it. This is the short row ridge and you can see because it's stop, it stops here. This is the joined ridge, short, short row joined, joined short row and so on, okay? So that's why we name them like this. It's easy, it's obvious. Now, I work with seven, I will go on chain one with eight. So, insert hook into the first, single crochet twice into the first for the increase and work until two single crochets remain, one, two, three, four stitches more. One, and this is the short row ridge. Two, the short row ridge, yes. Three, and four. So we actually have a total of six single crochets with an increase. Chain one and turn. Go back with your six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now we finish the ridge, chain one, we have one row, one row on one side, the other side of the ridge. Chain one and turn, go and work all your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then in this loop and into the single crochet skipped seven and into the last single crochet skipped eight. Join into the uh, single crochet where you join the two ridges with seven. So slip stitch to join, yarn on the back and go on with your eight to finish the last ridge with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go with nine and ten. And with these two, we finish the very, mm, the most difficult part of this technique. Chain one and turn. Obvious, we will increase into the first one and two and we will go on and single crochet until two single crochets remain unworked one two so it's one two three four five one two three four five chain one and turn work your five one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. The last single crochet. Chain one, let us begin our second ridge, is the joined ridge, so we will work seven plus two, so nine single crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we go on into the loop here and into the single crochet first that we skipped. 8 and into the last single crochet skipped 9 into the last single crochet insert hook and join and turn with 9 obvious now can you work by yourself the last two ridges with 10 exactly as we did uh, until now. So exactly the same thing to obtain 10. Okay. You will join into the same single crochet, last single From crochet. From the side, so I finished. These are the last two. Now what I want to show you is that you can easily uh, notice where we have the short ridge and where we have the long joining ridge. This is the short, this is the joining ridge. Now, on one side and the other side of the ridge, so this is actually the ridge, are the rows, one and two. The row to the center and the row to the outside. Center, outside, and so on. Now, it's very important, this aspect, because into these rows we will work the other rounds. We need a marker and we will put a marker at the end of each round so we will know where to stop with the next round and this is the last round row sorry of this um, first round let's say it's strange to say that it's a round but yes it's a round how can I say row no okay because we go in round, we don't actually join, but because it's not a round, it's a spiral, so, okay. I'm, I'm sure you, you've got the idea. Now, okay, it's here. I will put the marker, and I want to change yarn, just because it's easier. So you can change it, you can work with uh, changing yarn color. Or you can work with uh, so many colors that you have, so it's actually you to decide. So to change yarn, I will just undo the last single crochet and I want to close it with this one. Okay, and I will cut this, but first of all I want to work it over some rows. Okay. Now, from the second round, we will work like this. We will work one short row, and the short row now is exactly the same because we stop increasing. We will go on with these 10 stitches until the end of what you want it to be. So if you want a blanket, if you want a uh, cushion, if you want a um, carpet, or I don't know what you want it to be. So it depends on this how large you want to be your project uh, and how many rounds you will work and we will work one short row into the second so into the first let us begin with this we work one short one joining round ridge two rows per ridge and into the next we will work one short and two joining so we will join in two different so not into the same. We will join in two different uh, rows of the previous round, which is this one in this case. And into the next, we will work wash one short and five. So two more. So one, three, five. Then one short and seven. One short and uh, nine, and so on. Okay. 
And now let me show you. Let us begin with the one short. So I will insert hook into my first single crochet. I will work eight. So for the short from now on we will always work eight single crochets. We leave two unworked. We stop there and go back to finish the ridge. The short row ridge. <laughs> short rows ridge. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. And leave two, chain and go back with eight. And now this is one ridge, as you can see we have the ridge in the middle, one and one, one and one. And now we go with ten. We will work two joining ridges, which means there will be four rows, one to the center, the second to the outside, with ten stitches. Sorry, three, three, three ridges, not two. Three. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again into this loop first and then into the skipped single crochet. The first work one single crochet and one more to have again the completed number. Then and now we will go on and work into the very first row, which is this one. So we just have to watch a little bit carefully into this first until we reach this with three. From here it's easier to determine where they are. Okay, so the first eight, let's say, rows. It's here, and then it's here, and then it's here. So on one side, on the other side of the ridge. Okay, then I just want to go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do I have here? Eight, nine, ten. I will go now, so I finished the ridge, I will go with another one exactly the same, so with 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, And now again I will join, but into the next, okay? So it's here, my next. Insert hook and into the next row, sorry, okay? And go back with 10. And then will be the third. And then this is the sequence to repeat for this row until you reach the marker. Okay. I finished the second ridge. I will now I continue on with the third joining ridge. So one short rows ridge one and three joining ridge for the second round of the spiral. For, for the third will be one short row ridge one, uh, and five joining. Okay, so it's here and the last one is here. I will join into the next. Okay, so 
always skip the ridge to join on one side and on the other side of one bridge then into the next this is the ridge it's here then this is the ridge one and two and here you can see them very well so it's here at the beginning that it is a little bit more difficult but from here you can see them well so we have one and one then one and one one and one one and one so on one side on the other side of the ridge okay let me finish this third ridge just to show you the sequence what the sequence that it is it's formed actually already and this is the sequence to repeat as i said before so we join at the end of each row end of beginning depends so here and here here and here here and here okay uh, of each row so let me show you one short and you can see it's one one two three joining and this is the sequence to repeat then will be again one short and then one two three four or uh, three sorry joining and so on until the last until you will work the last joining into the marker maybe you will have only two joinings but it's okay okay you finish here even if you will finish with a short row you will finish with one it's not important the last sequence let's say okay continue so i finished the second row i finished it with three but you can finish it with two with one doesn't matter so what i want to say it's i changed idea actually i i was working and trying uh and uh the conclusion is that from the third round so the round that i will begin with uh, we will work only and only the re the joining ridges so as these three so as a three we won't work anymore the short ridge we will go on only with um, with uh, joining ridges we will join exactly exactly as we joined before so as I explained you and only only if we think if you think it's too straight uh, it's too tight so it doesn't flat nice stays nice and flat then you can put randomly some short ridges on a round okay this is the idea now i will work i will work my third round and i will be back to show you how it looks and to show you how to actually finish the spiral i'm back and i finished my third round now from now on you can continue on uh, without short rows from my point of view you can just go on without short rows because it's just enough uh, like this if you think it's too tight you can put randomly as i said before i explained before some short ridges sorry but uh, from my point of view it's perfect like this now look at it isn't it just lovely with all these beautiful colors of course <laughs> uh, the colors that i like you can use any kind of color combination it's lovely it's nice because you can play with colors and this is so joyful and nice now uh, i want to show you how to work it's not actually a round it's a part let's say let me explain you so how to finish actually it and this is even if you work four rounds five rounds as many rounds as you want so if you want to make something bigger like a um, a blanket or i don't know uh it's exactly the same that you have to work to finish so now i only have to go back this is my marker it's here that i work my last stitch I just want to go back up sorry to finish the ridge and then we will work we will work like this 
we will work um, one ridge beginning the first row of the ridge with a decrease and then four more ridges normally and so on until we uh, have one stitch left so chain one let us begin with a decrease insert hook into both first and second uh, single crochets back loop only and work one single crochet and work your eight more single crochets two three four five six seven and eight join and go back with nine and then work more ridges with nine and we will repeat this step I have to take off the marker you can put it here into the first just to be sure that you know where you began this final half ridge let's say and we skip here and we join like this and now I will just continue on like this until one more stitch I will have so I explain one more time insert so we begin this ridge with a decrease go back to finish the ridge work four more ridges with nine then into the next ridge begin with a decrease you will have eight go back with eight work four more ridges with eight and so on with seven six five four three two and one i will be back to show you how it looks so i finished the spiral and this is what i have it's so so lovely and colorful and joyful so from my point of view it's a it's a great um project to work with um, leftovers of yarn and um, it can be a cover for a um, chair or uh, why not a um, nice tablecloth round or a carpet or blanket or as you want now i think i will make one more and because i have some uh, more yarn with uh, on this in these colors and i want to try to make a nice uh, cushion of course if uh, i uh, um, do so I will uh, show you in another tutorial but this is it this is the uh, method of the spiral that I came up with after I I saw another one but from my point of view was um, far too complicated so hope you enjoy thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another video of mine on crochet tunisian crochet and knitting for crochetters and see you at the next tutorial bye bye